In this experiment, we're going to look at the reaction of different catalysts with hydrogen peroxide. In each boiling tube, I'm going to add 15 mils of hydrogen peroxide. I'm using 20 volume. I'm also going to add a couple of drops of detergent. And then we're going to put the same amount of each of our catalysts into the boiling tube. So first of all, we'll start off with the hydrogen peroxide. I'm then going to add a couple of drops of detergent into each tube. And then we're going to pop the different catalysts into each tube. So the first one we're going to try is potato. So I'm going to pop the potato in. And our next one is apple. I'm going to pop some apple in. And then we're going to try iron oxide. And then we have manganese dioxide. And the last one is copper oxide. So to measure the speed of the reaction, we can use a ruler and measure the height of bubbles. So if we have a look at it initially, We can see the best catalyst at the moment is the manganese dioxide. So we can leave this for a couple of minutes. And then measure the height of bubbles. So I've got one here that's been left for five minutes. And our first test tube, this is the potato. We have three and a half centimeters, so 3.5 centimeters of foam in here. The next one is the apple. After five minutes, we've got half a centimetre, so 0 0.5 centimetres of foam in that one. Then we've got our iron oxide. After five minutes, we've got two centimetres of foam in that one. Manganese dioxide. This one has got nine centimetres of foam in that one. And the copper oxide, after five minutes, that one's got 2.5 centimetres of foam in it. So we can use the height of foam to see how well the catalysts work.